This is Jeremy Tesmer for SGTV. In our newest exhibition of work from the estate of Richard Haynes, Sullivan Goss presents a selection of his lithographs for the first time. We will also show both figurative paintings and seascapes from different periods of the artist's career. Richard Haynes was born in 1906 in Marion, Iowa, and grew up on the family farm. When he wasn't out doing chores, he loved to draw, and practiced by copying illustrations and sketching animals. As luck would have it, a friend of his father's from the big city happened to see some of those drawings and hired him to work for a company that designed greeting cards. After working in commercial art for eight years, Haynes decided to commit. He enrolled in night classes at the Minneapolis School of Arts where he grew interested in mural painting. Early on, his professors singled him out as a promising artist and gave him a mural to do on campus. That mural no longer exists, but this preparatory sketch has survived of a Paul Bunyan-themed design. In 1934, Haynes won the Vanderlip Fellowship, which allowed him to study fresco painting and composition at the Académie de Beaux-Arts in Fontainebleau. He also traveled through Spain, Italy, and Morocco, where he produced this lovely little watercolor. Haynes returned home to find the Depression grinding on. In 1935, he entered the very first mural competition put on by the Treasury Department's Section of Painting and Sculpture and won. This photograph shows that mural at the Wichita Post Office and Federal Building. He also made a 72-foot-long mural for Sebeka High School. Here you can see the artist working on a short scaffold with his study taped to the wall. In all, Haynes painted an astounding 12 murals for the federal government. Fewer extent, although Coon Hunt can still be seen in the post office of Clinton, Missouri today. Haynes also made lithographs for the graphics division of the Federal Art Project. They record an artist moving towards a more modern, even cubist, style. In 1941, Haynes headed to California on his way to paint a mural for Anchorage, Alaska. World War II intervened, and he took a job instead with Douglas Aircraft. Three years later, Haynes established his reputation out west by winning first place in the Artists of Los Angeles and Vicinity show at LACMA. Guard duty, seen here, is thought to be from the same series as Road to War, the winning painting. In 1946, Richard Haynes joined the faculty at Chouinard Art Institute. He also worked with Linton Kistler, LA's most famous printmaker, to create a portfolio of prints. From highly abstracted images like this one, to more formal works that resemble his paintings like this one. In 1948, Haynes won a prize for lithography from the Society of Etchers, Gravers, Lithographers, and Woodcutters, and exhibited his work at the National Academy in New York. That same year, he also exhibited with Dalzell Hatfield for the first time. This painting, called Baptism, may have been featured in that inaugural show. Haynes was very successful with his lithographs. The Miners won an honorable mention in the 1951 California State Fair. Toreros, featuring a bullfighter about to enter the ring, shows that he continued to explore lithography well into his later years. Haynes' figurative style moved from the regionalist look of the 1930s through several variations of cubism to this abstracted figurative style. These works bear a strong resemblance to the Bay Area figurative artists that were Haynes' contemporaries in San Francisco. In preparation for larger paintings, he would work up small oil and watercolor studies like these, but some of the large paintings retain that painterly abstraction. Bamboo Leaves from the mid to late 1950s strikes a nice balance between painterly invention and honest representation. In 1954, Chouinard shut down, and Haynes took over teaching the master painting class at Otis Art Institute, where he taught for 20 years. The artist might wink to Holbein or Grant Wood or L.A.'s Helen Lundeberg, but his work remained distinctive, even iconic, in the West Coast art scene. Richard Haynes had his last show with the Braxis Gallery in Santa Monica in 1979 and passed away in 1984. He approached his art with the modesty and seriousness of someone who wanted to progress the Western canon of painting. 
He worked to preserve a tradition and to find those things that would endure, the seaside, the quiet dignity of man, a meandering silence, a pause in time, a captive moment, all of which tend to reveal the spiritual values of humanity. I'd like to thank Gloria Rexford Martin, art historian and author of a forthcoming book about the artist, and others for their help in assembling material for this video. Richard Haynes, Endurance, will be up through November 1st. Come see it.